I recommend that you start with your current donors who are already giving to your focus programs in order to understand the type of person who gives to your organization. Today I want to talk about the second part of this and that is how donors give. So ideally you already have run a list of existing donors from the last three to five years and you understand where they live, uh, their common traits, and why they have chosen to give to your organization. Now, in today's vlog, I want to talk about how people give. There are so many ways now to make a donation to an organization. When you ran your data, ideally, you were able to understand if the gift had come in through the mail or online, through a giving campaign, uh, maybe through a personal meeting. And this is what you want to replicate. What is the primary way that your existing donors who give to your focus program chose to make a gift. Let me give you an excellent example. We have found that our older donors who receive our snail mail want to have an envelope included in that mail. They want to have a card that allows them to choose a, a level of giving and then they're going to mail back in that particular gift. It really doesn't matter how fancy my website is or how great my online appeal is. My target audience over the age of 60 is continuing to respond not just to snail mail but to snail mail with an envelope. Secondly, you may find that for your particular campaign, it was an employee giving campaign that worked. Then use that appeal as your primary appeal. Was it an online appeal? Perhaps it was a friends asking friends where you simply have your existing donors use their Outlook address book and ask all of their friends to give to your organization. You haven't spent any more money you haven't hired any new staff, and frankly, you've gotten to know your existing donors better. This allows you then to reach out to existing donors and ask them for the names and addresses of their friends. It allows you to look at like organizations and start to collect data from those organizations and then make the appeal using the same giving tool that your existing donors respond to best. Well, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, we have other tips available at miraclestrategies.com and at thegiving.net, and we look forward to answering your questions in the future. Thank you.